Okay, uh, today I'm going to be showing how to capture HD video from your Xbox 360 or from your PS3. Um, a lot of the things people use nowadays or have been using is a Dazzle. And Dazzle's a pretty good, it's a pretty good uh, capture card. But, you know, it's limited to standard definition. And if you want to go to HD, you have to look uh, at other things like there's a, I believe it's called a Hophage. Uh, and they're really expensive. They're about 200 to 230 dollars. I've seen them around. They might be cheaper now, but I haven't looked. So <clears throat> I have a I have a way where you can capture HD gameplay, you know, for for cheap, I guess. And by cheap, meaning you know, to some people this might still be a little pricey, but it's it's a lot cheaper compared to the other stuff that's out there. Now the first thing that um, you want to get is uh, Avermedia, I have this Avermedia, it's a video HD capture card, which is a HDMI capture card. This card works really well. It, it handles resolutions up to uh, 1080i, I believe. And, um, uh, yeah, 1080i. It's not 1080p compatible, but normally, you when you record, you mostly record everything in, uh, in 720p anyways. So, it, it is compatible with Windows 7 and Vista and all that stuff. The, the, the driver that comes with this, the drivers that come with it already have the Windows 7, so if you have that, you're good to go. Um, that's the first thing I got for that. Now, the only, the only bad thing about this that I've noticed is that it has two inputs, but there's no output. So, the reason, uh, if there's no output, then you have to get another another component I guess and that's that's the other thing you gotta get which would be this you need a HDMI splitter now I looked around online and I found a lot of splitters but a lot of them seemed like they were low quality and they're really cheap they were like 15 20 bucks they look really cheap now I, I came across this one which is uh the brand name is a Sewell the Soul HDMI splitter. Let me see if I could focus in. It's a Soul HDMI splitter, and this claims to have uh, to support resolutions up to 1440p, even though the uh, the instruction manual said that it only supports up to 1080p. But this thing is a it's really good quality, a really good build quality. It's really solid. It looks really good. It works great. Uh, if you go to the manufacturer's website, they actually have a a video where they're they're showing the capabilities of it, and they have a cable running like 50 feet or 100 feet, something like that, and the image is perfect. So, so with that, what you do is you hook up your Xbox or your PS3 to the input here, and then it has two outputs. One is going to go to your TV. And the next one will go to your computer. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to see here, but the capture card is really small. No, you can't see it. It's, it's, it's probably too dark. But it's right here. And uh, I'll try to show the back of it. I can. But anyways, that's that. So this looks up to your computer. And what you have is... Uh, you pretty much have a mirror image of your gameplay on your monitor and on your TV. So when you move your controller, you know everything's synced up. And what I've noticed is that <clears throat> this uh, Avery Media Player does not is not compatible with Windows Media Center. So whoever uses if you guys use that to record TV or stuff like that, it's not going to work. It uses uh, it uses its own software, which is Aver. Media Center, and I mean it works pretty good, but it seems really like I would call it kind of sloppy, or it looks really cheap, I guess, when you look at it. It doesn't look too fancy, but it gets the job done. So that works pretty good. Whenever you need to record your gameplay, you just you just hover your mouse over here, and then this pops up, and you can just record. And there's a lot of settings you could record it, you know, at lower resolutions or high resolutions. It depends on the quality that you want. If you don't really care, you could put it really low and it'll be fine. 
Now, another thing that's good about this capture card is that it comes with this dongle of cables, which you could connect many things to it. You got your, you got your component, you got your component video cables, you got your RCAs, you got S video cable, and you have your, you know, you have a headphone jack here, and everything, uh, everything converts to HDMI. So if you have an older TV and you know you're thinking of getting the the Dazzle or something like that, you know this will work much better because you know I guess you could say you'll be future proofing yourself for later on if you get a newer TV. So I mean it's it's, it's worth it to spend the extra money because I, I think I've seen that even uh, the Dazzle HD. I don't know why they call it HD, but it looks the same as the regular Dazzle. That one's even more expensive. So, and, and the other one I mentioned earlier, that, that Hopodge uh, HD recorder, that's not even HDMI. Those are uh, component cables. So, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you want a cheap solution to recording your video, you know, you want HD good quality, that's, you know, I, you, you end up spending about, that was like $100 with shipping and handling, and I ended up paying about $30 for that. So that's like 130 and you could find you could find cables, HDMI cables for around ten bucks online, brand new. So like like for around one hundred and fifty dollars, you can get you can get yourself this whole thing, and and start recording your gameplay. And also, this is not just limited to your Xbox. You know, people that have um, DVRs, you know, their satellite systems or whatever. You could also the newer ones they have HDMI, but you know the older ones they have these outputs. You could also record your uh your recorded shows from your from your uh DVR and save them on your computer and just go ahead and make some more space so but that's that so if you have any questions just let me know